So I'm Sam Hartsman, the manager of community relations here at Duquesne Light Company, and I'm really excited to announce and launch our second round of community impact grants. Uh, this program has been extremely uh, successful in, in reaching grassroots organizations throughout our service territory. So if you're out there and you have a great idea or you're working on something to help your community, I would really consider applying for a community impact grant. And just to know how impactful this program can be, um, you know, we're excited to feature a number of our grant recipients from the first round who can talk about their projects and how Duquesne Light was able to support them. Everybody in the community, I mean, they stopped me and they're like, look at this fence, this fence is beautiful. How did you get this here? I'm like, it's a grant, isn't it amazing? This food, when people ask, you know, I let them know exactly, you know, like where we're operating right now, you know, on a grant, um, this is all, you know, free to us. That's why we want to make it free to you all. Even with people who've been on this earth a long time didn't know simple words like harvest. Like, what did that mean? So when I, when we use those words, that terminology, just here, and people get so excited to share that terminology with like their household and get all excited to know that they've learned something, that, that right there is it for me. really filled a gap for us um, and it allowed us an opportunity to do some really great things that'll transform the face of the trail and allow us to engage a lot more volunteers so for us um, it was really exciting to see and definitely even more exciting when we saw the announcement. name Rebloom came to be like these businesses were already doing really well they're already blooming but you know circumstances change and we're not really there to change anything about their business model we're just there to help them bloom again or rebloom however not all the small businesses are able to have that money up front or they just don't have it or they've already spent some of their um, money on marketing earlier or something like that so um, with the community impact grant we're able to sponsor some of these businesses One of the great things about this community impact grant is that it is supporting the scenes from a single mom book project. And so through the project, each year we work with small cohorts of single moms. We help them to find their voice, strengthen their voice, and develop the power of their stories, write their stories. And then at the end of the program, all of the moms have an additional stream of income to support themselves and their children. Hopefully those videos gave you some inspiration and encouragement to apply for a community impact grant. We look forward to receiving your application, but we really want to thank you for all that you do for our communities and all the things that you're doing to help make sure that our region thrives and, and responds and recovers from um, the current issues that we're facing. Mm -hmm.